Hello and welcome to my channel. I had a request for a vase with pine cones on it and this is how I did it. I started out with a vase I already had at, I had gotten a gift. So I used that vase. I used napkins that I found with pine cones and some orange paint. I put one layer of paint on my vase only because I thought the orange would be too dark and even one layer was a little dark so I tore up a bunch of tissue paper into uneven pieces it's hard to see here but they're little uneven pieces and I used Mod Podge and I put those pieces kind of like a puzzle all over where I had painted the orange on the vase just to lighten up that orange a little bit it was just a little too dark and I didn't want to start mixing paints As I placed each piece down, I smoothed the wrinkles as best I could with a crumpled up piece of saran wrap. It's the best way I found to try to um, smooth out wrinkles. We can leave the overhang off the bottom of the vase because you can take that off later on once you've got your final layer of Mod Podge on your piece and it's dried completely. There's a very easy way to take the excess off. So then I took my napkins and these were three ply napkins so you have to take the back two plies off so you're only working with one ply. And then I just took some water and a little tiny paintbrush and I went around the edges with the water and the paintbrush and tore off little pieces to make the edges very uneven. They go on more seamless that way into whatever piece you're making. I really like the way that looks. So just find where you want to put that particular image on your piece and then put a nice thin layer of Mod Podge on. And then just lay your one ply picture on and make it nice and smooth with some crumpled up saran wrap. I hit some of the edges again with a little bit more Mod Podge that didn't um, adhere down as well. And again, I'm making uneven borders. And you can put as many or as few pictures on the piece that you're making that you'd like.
I decided when I was done to go back in with some orange paint and fill in some of the white areas where the tissue paper had overlaid. It was a little too white in some spots, so I took a little round stippling brush and decided to um, darken them up a little with a, a little orange, and I'm glad I did it because I think it just looks better all the way around. At this point, I used my Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, and I did that because this is a vase, and if there was a lot of water spilling on it at any point, I wanted it to really have that extra protection. Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge I've never seen at Dollar Tree. I've only found it in craft stores, such as AC Moore and Michaels. I've never tried putting anything with it in the dishwasher. I hear that you have to use the top rack. But I thought, there it is, but I thought to be extra safe um, with something that was going to get water in it all the time and possibly water on it, I used the dishwasher safe. Now at this point, the um, Mod Podge has dried and um, I'm taking off all the bottom extra pieces that are hanging off with my um, sandpaper. Just use a little block and just go in the direction. Don't go against the paper, go with the paper. It takes the excess off. And here I am just putting on some little of those strands of beads I got at Dollar Tree with some hot glue. And I ended up putting a second row on. I thought it showed up better. And this was my finished project.